Hi, uh, welcome to Wednesdays this morning. Today, Chris Hughes has announced that his brother Ben has been diagnosed with testicular cancer after Chris bravely agreed to have a live examination on this show in November. Well, it was that examination that prompted Ben to get checked. And today, Chris has sent us a message and he's currently filming on location in the Cotswolds. Morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. I just want to thank this morning for allowing me to come on the show and do the live testicular examination the other month. It's very important for me and uh, we had a bit of sad news yesterday that my brother had been diagnosed with testicular cancer. He popped into my room the day after I'd done the live testicular examination saying he's checked himself and that he's found the lump and I told him to go and get it checked out, which he did and he got the results yesterday afternoon that it is testicular cancer. So very unfortunately, but hopefully he's found it at an early stage, which is obviously vital and we wait the prognosis results and hopefully it hasn't spread, which, you know, is, is the most important thing. And uh, with that, I just want to urge anybody to get themselves checked out, make sure you do it, don't neglect it because it is so easy to neglect. Men all across the world do that and, you know, it's easy to ignore, but make sure you get yourselves checked out because it can be life-saving and if you catch it in early stage, there shouldn't be any issues. So fingers crossed, my brother, hope he recovers well, but thank you very much for allowing me to pop on the show and take care, everybody. Thank oh, you, Chris. Chris. Well, we're sending uh, lots of love to Chris, the whole family, yeah. especially, obviously, to brother Ben, and we'll put that testicular examination on our This Morning app. Right, here's what's coming up on today's show. Verbally abused on the streets of Westminster as Tory MP Anna Soubry is subjected to protesters' tirades. We are, should more be done to protect our members of Parliament? Could walking your cat on a lead improve its mental well-being or is it just cruel? We'll meet one owner who says that she loves walking her feline friends. She's been named the fittest female celebrity of 2019. Fern McCann shares her workout secrets and gets you into shape for the year ahead. And living out their years in peace and quiet, we'll visit the UK's first retirement home for the humble sloth. Oh, so sweet. So that's a call for more protection for MPs in just a moment. The woman who walks her cats on a lead at 10.45. Get as fit as Fern McCann. She's here before 11. And we're invited inside the sloth retirement home at 11.20. Also on Tuesday. Hey, Monday. Monday. Yeah, Thank, thank you. you. On Thank tomorrow's you. show, luck. Chanel Hayes hits back at her fat shamers. Uh, Vera uh, <laughs> actress Brenda Bleffin is also here as well. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. Bye now. Bye. Bye.